MCVI virus contains many sequences of viral genomes that you can search. To start your search, you can go to search by virus. Once you click on search by virus, you can just type in the virus that you would like to research. For example, we can use coronavirus. Give it just a few seconds and you'll see the list of coronaviruses appear down here. Let's select severe acute respiratory syndrome related coronavirus or severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2, which is the novel coronavirus that's causing COVID-19. As you can see, there are over 6,000 nucleotide sequences available in this list. Not all of them are full genomes, and they come from a variety of different locations, and they were collected or released at different dates. If we want to limit this number, we can first select sequence length or nucleotide completeness. We know that the coronavirus is about 28, 29,000 nucleotides long. So we can either select the complete or we can give it a minimum and a maximum length right here. After we filter for only complete nucleotide sequences, you will see that there's just 4,000 nucleotide sequences available. You can also go to geographic region and for example, just select all of those that are in the US. There are over 2,800 nucleotide sequences in the US alone. If you scroll through the different available metadata, you'll see that each one has an accession number. If you click on the accession number, you can read more about where this novel coronavirus was collected from which host and USA, California. You can also see when it was um, submitted. Collection date, length, etc. You can also click on the bio project to see how this whole sequence was submitted. SARS-CoV-2 genome sequences from T-identified patient specimens submitted for testing at Quest Diagnostics. Now let's say we want to download a number of these sequences. And let's say what we want to do is take a few from California, a few from New Jersey, from Utah, a few from Kentucky, now that we've selected a number of these sequences, we can just simply download them as fast a format genomic sequence. So here you can look at nucleotide, coding region, protein. This is to download the FASTA format. You can also just download the accession list number, which will give you 12 accession IDs, and download all of the data in a CSV or XML format. Click on Next, and just download selected records. Inside the FASTA file, there's going to be a beginning string that will contain the accession number and all of the information that we just saw. Accession number, or accession, and GenBank title. You can see that you can download all of the sequence. And now we can open it in any text editor. And we'll see if you do a quick search you'll see how many sequences you downloaded. In this case, we downloaded 12. Now, you can use these sequences to start your pipeline.